There are all these things that, as like a middle class, very comfortable white person, tell me that everything's okay. You know, Jacinda's prime minister, it's all good. But the first time you encounter some of the histories of this land, it's like far out, that happened here. Whether that history is something awful like colonization, it's like whatever, you have to confront that. So all you really need is your paste, your brush, posters, and another human. We are gonna make some wheat paste, sticky goodness for putting up posters. We met in high school very early on and we've been best friends ever since. So we've got Protect Ihu Mātau, our rare heritage landscape from destruction. It looks nicer when it's in colour, but that costs lots of money, so uh, we just do it in black and white. Postering is a form of consciousness raising. We wanted to be out there amongst the community, not sitting inside posting about it. Ihu Mātau is a place up in Tamaki Makoto, not far from the airport, way, way back. 1863, I believe. The land there was confiscated from Mana Whenua by the colonial government. So what's happening now is there's about to be a semi-large scale housing development built on their whenua. And the people of Ihumatau have been resisting this development for the past four or five years. Ponike Solidarity Alliance Ihumatao is a group that was started to stand in solidarity and support the whānau up at Ihumatao. We put up a lot of posters around Wellington, just trying to figure out how we can reach people. I'd kind of been dealing with this question of like, you know, if you'd been around, you know, during the Springbok tour or during the land march, what would you have done? Um, and so to me, it really kind of presented itself as that moment. It seems like the right thing to do, and we're all committed to trying to do something practical. In my opinion, these things need to be led by tangata whenua. But it does require participation from outside of that sphere as well. So we've been largely under the guidance of the people from Ihumatao. So if they have things that need doing or they're planning some kind of upcoming action, we'll take guidance from them. We had a little stall at the Newtown Fair. One of the big things we did was a petition was started to try and get the government to intervene in some shape or form. It ended up getting over 20,000 signatures and it culminated in the petition delivery, which was a big march to Parliament. All the whānau came down in a big bus, and it was real cool. Okay. Oh. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Heaps of people came along, and we, we, all, we all marched. It was like just a really cool experience. My comrades, our whānau, and this historic hikoi calling for justice at You have turned it on today. You want to chuck your corn flour in there first and then add the water. One to four is a good ratio. It really starts to thicken once it gets mixed in. And you just got to keep stirring it. There was quite an interesting moment in my sociology lecture last trimester where we were talking about colonisation, the sociology of colonisation. And the lecturer spent 15 minutes talking about how bad he felt about colonisation. And mm. I think, to me, that was very telling about, I guess, the power of white guilt. You know, we as human beings did awful things to other human beings, so of course we feel bad. And it's like, actually, we need to be having a productive conversation about this instead of just talking about your, your feelings. The personal sort of process of working through all this stuff is really important, but at the end of the day, you know, how's that going to affect what you do and how you operate in society, you know? I think it'd be wrong to say that, at least for me, like, 
I've made it through the white guilt oh, or anything. Of course not. I think that goes without oh saying. Gosh. It shouldn't be something that kind of hinders you from getting involved with Te Ao Māori and learning the language and talking to people. You know, this is something that you can do to really make a change. There we go. Yeah, that's probably far too runny. At the end of the day, if you end up with some kind of sticky liquid, then it's probably good enough. If it slides off, then you know it's totally, totally <laughs> wrong. Let's go. Let's do it. You can go on brush, I'll go on posters. Over the past couple of months, things have gotten more tense at Ihumata. In late July, an eviction notice was served to Mana Whenua, and they've since been peacefully protecting their land. Our solidarity work has been taking this message to the steps of Parliament and demanding that the Prime Minister take responsibility. Even if you're far away, there's heaps of stuff that you can do, like printing out a bunch of posters, going sticking them up, talking to your friends in Fano, and bringing these issues into the public consciousness. And that's something that anyone can do, I think.